Welcome to Wilbur D. Rao Middle School Where the teachers are great and every single kid is cool Truly learn with the common goal We are safe, respectful, and responsible Home to math minds, some of the best readers Musicians, athletes, scholars, and web leaders Lots happening in this wonderful place And there's only one way to stay up to date So if you got a case of the Sandbox Blues Hit the YouTube, check the Shamrock News What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Not a thing that we cannot do. Growth mindset, it's the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What up, what up, what up? Eden Johnson, the place to be at Rao Middle School. And I'm Rachel Borley. Welcome to the Shamrock News. Last week, the cross country team completed once again. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the race. Anybody can submit. Mm, poetry you've written, lyrics you've written, drawings you've done, anything original. Um, as long as it's school appropriate, there's no rules. Speaking of cross country, next Wednesday after school, the cross country team will be running against the teachers in the annual staff versus students race. The students have won the last few years. Let's hope to continue their win streak. Do you know any absolute beautiful soul you'd love to give a special treat? You mean a treat like a sandwich? Um, no. I mean a treat like a trick or treat gram brought to you by Rouse Monstrous Avid Program. I wish I could get something for my friend. Well, now you can. You can get your trick or treat candy grams from October 17th to the 21st and October 24th to the 28th. You can get your average trick or treat candy gown for one dollar, and they will be delivered to the period on October 31st, also known as Halloween Day. Sales have already begun, and you can get your candy trick or treat gown from 9:05 to 9:25 before school starts. All you have to do once you buy your candy trick or treat gown is put your friend's first and last name in, a message you want to write to them, your name, or you can leave it a mystery and their fifth period teacher. And I put trick or treat grams come in different flavors and shapes. Trick or treat! So one time I was working in the store and they said, hey Rachel, could you go to the back room and get the box for this? So I went to the back room and I was looking for the box. And this is a very crowded room full of supplies. And I'm looking for the box, and looking for the box. I'm looking, and looking, and looking. I don't see the box. And then I was like, the box is not here. And I almost went back to the front to tell him that. But then I realized, wait, do you realize, Rachel, that the whole time you were looking for the box, you were thinking, the box is not here. The box is not here. Why would someone keep this box? The box is not here. 
I said, what would happen if I actually believed the box was here? So I said, the box is here. I believe the box is here. And I looked with this new mentality, and there was the box right in front of me the entire time. So I found the box. The moral of the story is that people often say, ooh, I'll believe it when I see it. But the truth is that sometimes you need to believe it to see it. And when you carry around doubt, it actually limits what comes into your life and what you see and what you reach out for. But when you believe that good things can come your way, then good things can actually come your way without you blocking it. That's the moral of the story. Hey all you route readers, we've still got a couple of weeks to sign up for Battle of the Books. For those of you who don't know what Battle of the Books looks like, here's a glimpse of the world into competitive reading. You get to be with your friends, and you go and compete with other people, and you get to read and you get shirts. We'd like to give a shout out to the Battle of the Books! Woo! <laughs> Battle of the Books. It's oh, like it's sports. sports. Ah. Alright, here we go. Battle of the Books competition champion. The first annual Brown Middle School Battle of the Books championship. We have the super magical Rainbows of Death. Rainbows of Death. And we have the amazing, awesome super people. Is it the Roar by Emma Clayton? It is the Roar by Emma Clayton. That is correct. That is correct. That is correct. That is correct. <laughs> No, no, no. no. Uh, it can be one of those like challenge questions where it's just wrong. Time's already. That is incorrect. <laughs> Miss Vernon reporting live. Pat from right after the Battle of the Books reporting live. Round of the Library. They're fine. The excitement is high. The final score. The final score was 31 to 32. 31 to 32, the last team has won the rainbow. The super magical rainbows of death have won it for round middle school. school district has stated costumes will not be allowed. Uh, no! However, as a consolation, Brown Middle School is having Spirit Week starting on Monday. Rao MHS Spirit Day. So on Monday, we're going to be doing Rao and Milwaukee Spirit. So we're all your Rao here and it is no faith paint. And it has to be dress code appropriate. Pajama day. Tuesday. Okay, so you wake up in the morning and you can basically wear your wearing the bed. But you know, yeah, just no bedding, please. Because it can get in the way. You don't want to end like me. Just make sure to keep everything school appropriate, though. Hat day. Wednesday. So, Wednesday is hat day, so you just get to wear whatever hat you want, no matter how crazy or basic it is. You could even have a granola bar on your head, like Jenna, and a roll of duct tape. Throwback Thursday! So, you get to wear any 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, whatever inspired outfit. It needs to be school appropriate. And 
And here is some footage circa 1998 of some specific wow students looking out of your book. Character day, Friday. Be like Donna and make someone hold your braids up like the long stocking. But no masks, no face paint, and needs to be dressed good. This week on Rao Reads, Lucas would like to share a book he recommends to some of you Rao readers. Hi, I'm Lucas Mumpert, and the book I read was The Call of the Wild by Jack London. So this book is about a dog who used to live in California, um, was kidnapped by um, his original owner's gardener and um, taken up to the north, where his new life at, um, is forced as a sled dog, um, in which he was a sled, obviously. <laughs> um, he'll face stuff like abuse, near-death experiences, and, and in front of him mostly are deaths of other animals and sometimes demons. One thing that's in interested me most was um, when Buck chose not to get up and was almost clubbed to death, he was left with his n new owner, Jack Thornton, while his three original owners from Virginia and, the, and, his sled, and Buck's sled team um, went off into the icy river. Um, then the ice um, broke and the sled along with the dogs and the three owners dropped. I would recommend this book to um, people who can take uh, um, serious themes like death and um, stuff like that seriously and it's a really great book, it's classic. <laughs> Have you ever had the dream of going to a natural hot springs in a natural area, white water rafting, or going on a zipline canopy tour? If so, you're in the right place. If you've ever had a dream to do these amazing things, make sure to head down to Mr. Clark's room, room 221, to grab a packet to go to Costa Rica. See you there! Oh. oh man. Cook it for dinner? You gotta go and capture it. There it is. Oh man. Should I should I touch it? Of course. Is it alive? Oh, oh. Look at that! It's a real one. Experience food you've never had in America. Oh, is this edible? Oh. I think so. Try some. Oh, I gotta get it. You gotta go. And if you want to catch the fish, you gotta become the fish. This is extremely dangerous. You don't want to try this at home. Oh, I see one! I see one! Yeah, catch it! Oh, cool. oh, I think he's fishing. Oh, we just moved. Oh, there he goes. Look at, look at, look at those. This Friday, October 21st, we'll be having a picture retake day. Please bring your freshest gear and your biggest smile.
Horse Rail Man said so. There's only one way to keep Rail safe. By recycling. The Book Fair is coming to Rail the week of conferences from October 31st until November 4th. Bring you and your people to the library to get great deals on new books. There's nothing good to read. Uh, you can't find anything to read? Well, there's a book fair from October 31st to November 3rd. And it's open from school hours, and it's also open during conferences. Well, what if I can't go to the book fair? Then there's an app. Everybody, I got something to say. We've got some great talents to show you today. On the next episode of our BG, here's Coda and Xavier, the next MCs. They've got a lot of heart and some pretty sick rhymes. Come on, y'all. It's Rock Got Talent Time! This all happened at the age of 13 I'm too young to rap, but it's not what it seems It's time to stop living in a fantasy And live my dream Come out the gate strong, cause it's my time to shine Too busy counting money, because my lyrics is fine People say that rapping is a waste of my time But I got all the guts, cause the glory is mine All these words I speak, I say them cause they're true Sometimes I feel like people can see straight through Coda and Mr. Dix, we all just spitting bars And we never thought that hip hop would take it this far I'm running out of time, I only got today Hold on to the mic, cause I only got so much to say I'ma let it pour, like we on a rainy day Bust the rhymes when we only at a young age I just had to let it out, cause it's driving me insane That's all I got left, so let it be the heck of me Just a young rapper that goes by the name of your Work majesty Work so hard and you better believe I'm just that I reach and I cannot achieve Stuck up in the past and I need the time machine Tongue tied all the time saying what do you mean all I ever wanna do is chase down my pipe dream But all my time spent picking out the right theme I'm lost, and I think about it nightly Thinking that I might leave and tell you politely I'm lost, and I'm in a new dimension I ran out of time and I need an extension I come from the land of inventions My mind will be different than yours, don't yeah. mention I think that I made a mistake The people will say you lie, but I'm done with the face Yeah, I'm spinning every day because I want to be great Hard on the pace, never thought that I could ball in these states Until I wanted the fame for all the raps I record And all the things I couldn't before I could finally afford So I can finally be the greatest Show the people that were hating Other rappers need to maintenance being me and never changing I always rap unique things y'all have never seen Now I'm following my dreams because I'm always asleep And I'm going after things that I can never Believe. And all these people know my name because the raps that I preach I've been putting in the practice, I've been putting in the effort I've been rapping every day because I wanna become better I know that I can change but I'm feeling all this pressure People looking up to me but I'm still looking for my center You wanna guard me? Come and try I'll cross you over like the number nine Crisscross applesauce make you lay down All you need is a blanket now after that you get back up, but then I'll hammer it down All I got is me, myself, and I now When I'm on the court, I shine brighter than the Empire State Than the Empire State I'm a Kyrie inside a curry, and I'm only getting better You can't stop me, this is my life And you ain't gonna take it away from me Nah, you ain't gonna take it away, nah Said I never learned a wheelie I couldn't get the ollie pop But I was a hooper that could get your squad molly whopped Gummy bear grubber with a jug of Kool-Aid Had the whole park going up on a Tuesday Slide with graffiti chuck tees tied In the hundred acre woods Scooping honeys out the beehive Pocket full of promise and some oatmeal cream pies Looking at the world like no real dream dies uh, Never learned a scrap Had a glass jar, glass house Cat stones carry out the trash talk, yeah 
break a couple bones on the asphalt Do the same stupid stuff once I get the cast off Up and away, I temper down in the dirt I figure something to say, my actions louder than words I went and howled at the moonlight and hollered at the rain Pushed the cap to the side like tomorrow never came Okay, 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 yeah Mr. Dix, Coda B, Young Majesty, Connor, J1, Pistol Pete's, Shamrock News. We got bars, after school bars. If you got bars, come holler at us, cause we got bars. And we can all have bars together. Shamrock Scholars. Yup, yup. See you next time on the Sham Sham News. My name is Christoph and I'd like to give a Shamrock shout out to Johnny Sazar. My name is Kaylee and I want to give a Shamrock shout out to Tatiana. I'm Isabel and I want to give a Shamrock shout out to Mr. Clark because he's awesome. I'd like to give a Shamrock shout out to my friend Nathaniel for singing at choir. Hi, I'm Kaylee and I'd like to give a Shamrock shout out to my best friend Angie for staying with me when I've been in dark times. Hi, I'm Mrs. Bennett. I want to give a Shamrock shout out to all of our advanced musicians who just did a fabulous assembly. Each of the groups, Advanced Orchestra, Advanced Choir, Advanced Band, every single member was there contributing to the team and working really hard to do a great performance. Way to go. Hey Ra, I want to give a Shamrock shout out to the members of the Rao Be Woke podcast. It's coming to you soon. We're going to be broadcasting for you. Again, that's the Rao Be Woke podcast. Shout out to you. Hello, my name is Hunter and I want to give a Shamrock shout out to Ms. Gaskin to be an awesome teacher. Booyah! Hi, my name is Catherine. I want to give a Shamrock shout out to my best friend Kalea and one of my favorite teachers, Mr. Young. Hi, my name is Anthony, and I want to give a shout-out to my boy Amber and Christoph. Yeah, Christoph too. 